I hope you had a great day today. Tonight, I will tell you 10 special stories. You can also play The Joke Show, 10 More Special Stories, or The Poem Show. The first story is about a Super Mario character. Here is a character story called Toadette. Toadette is a great pink girl who has pigtails. She is also part of the toad species. One day, Toadette was missing. Mario and his friends looked around the entire kingdom, but she was not there. Oh no. Everyone felt sad. Just then, a portal appeared. We think Toadette is stuck in a video game. Thought Princess Peach. It looks like we arrive in a city. Said Birdo. They searched across the buildings. Even inside areas. But she is not anywhere. Hmm. Just then, Rosalina meets a singer named Pauline. Luigi asks her, Where is Toadette? She is a pink girl. I do not know. Said Pauline. Finally, Daisy found her in a crate. Everyone cheered, and took Toadette back to the Mushroom Kingdom. The end. Here is a sequel to The Squirrel and the Acorn. The Elephant and the Rock Once upon a time, there lives an elephant who found a rock he loved so much. One morning, he was trying to lift his rock up with his trunk, but it fell and broke. He sighed, and went back to his den to have breakfast. A few weeks passed and the elephant has found six rocks. One day, a car driver wants the elephant to live in a zoo habitat. The elephant picks up the six rocks into the cage. When he gets there, the elephant was meted by people. Hello there. Imagine re. The next day the elephant eats bananas for breakfast. He loves his new home. Suddenly, he heard people cheering and giggling. The elephant did a magic trick on the tree. He now has a daughter elephant. That was his best day ever. The end. Now a story about a spy hunter. The spy hunter and the objects. In a two-story building, there is a spy hunter who wants a chest. The spy hunter dodge lasers and objects. She also avoids attacks. Yes. She said. She now heads to the second floor for more avoiding. She uses the elevator. She avoids more and more lasers. And shiny ice lasers in her way. After minutes of avoiding lavas, she found the chest, who had blocked by an evil boss. A strong beatboxer here to help. The boss got defeated, and phew. She got the chest. The end. Here's a pet story. Here's a classic dog story called Olivia the Dog. Olivia is a nice little girl dog, who lives in a beach cove. One day, a coconut storm has appeared. Coconuts are falling from the brown clouds. She will prove to avoid hitting by coconuts. She did it. The next day, a daughter wants Olivia to be a family pet. She will take Olivia to their car. Just then, Olivia needs to pee. I need to pee or else I will pee in this car. Olivia will hold it. When they get home, she will feed Olivia her food. That night, Olivia saw that the family is going to have a game night. They played Nintendo Switch and Xbox 360 games. Olivia tucks a flower. She also saw that the daughter won a single game. At bedtime, Olivia will have her own bed now. The end. Now a story about spikes. Bad hair day. There once was a rose named Spikes who has long bad hair. One day, his brother told Spikes it is time for a picture. Spikes thought, I have bad hair, and I do not want to have it in the photo. Sorry Spikes, you need a school photo okay? Fine, said Spikes. His brother took him to his school and meet his teacher. His teacher said, it is okay to have bad hair on your photo. It will be on the yearbooks in May. He took his picture, and he is happy to be home again. The end. A poison story for you. Power Nori, The Rise of Poison Boy. In a poison volcano, lived Poison Boy and his family. 
They spend time playing in poison and drinking flavored water. One day, Poison Foot told Poison Boy and his family that it's time to play poison ball. They ran to the poison stadium. Poison people are watching us. They run across the playing field and made a goal. His friends and neighbors is cheering for him, and his family won. They all have a trophy. He will take a break finally. The end. Due to that, here's a story about Charlie. Here's a candy story called The Chocolate House. Once upon a time, Charlie lives in a chocolate house in a candy land. One day, his friends and family came to his house. He is having a candy party. They played candy land and eating chocolate candy. That evening the family is having a chocolate feast for dinner. One of his favorite food is there. Very excitement Charlie munched the entire food in one bite. How come you eat that food in one bite? Said one of his friends. I do not know. He said. The next day he went to Chocolate World. He really loved this land. He runs super duper fast across the land to have his candy. Weeks passed and one day he got a Stairmaster machine for his exercise. Charlie is the world's best candy eater. The end. Now a Toad story. Once upon a time, Toad was picking turnips. He is trying to get to the top of a hill without jumping. One day, Toadette was trying to hold a star, but a bird snapped it. He needs to save her. We call him Captain Toad. He was busy trying to save her. Suddenly, he heard a boon from lava. He defeats the monster. Hours passed, and he got to where Toadette is. The bird got defeated. Captain Toad saved explorer Toadette. The next day they went to New Dong City, where Toadette got missing one day. Just then, they heard Pauline singing. Mario has arrived onto New Dong City. He explores the buildings outside. That night, Toad and Toadette heads to a festival. She dances as she played Super Mario Maker 2. It is the best day ever for them. The end. Here is a story about how a student will change schools when she moves. The new kid. All right everyone, there is a new student who moved from France. Say hello to Daisy. Me and my friends say hello to her. Suddenly, she passes laptops because we are going to play a team game. We log in and we are all ready to play. During the sixth question, my team got it wrong. Ugh. I said. After the game, we are going to cook pancakes for lunch. I love pancakes. It is the day before Thanksgiving break. After class, I show mom that I cook pancakes today. Whoa. Mom said. On Monday, the teacher will be sharing what we did during Thanksgiving break this year. One said, my family had a Thanksgiving takeoff on Thanksgiving. I had tacos instead of turkey. I said. They made a perfect noise. Me and Daisy felt happy. The end. And now for the final story, I will tell you a story about Sam Sidney. The layout for Sam Sidney. One afternoon, Sam bought a toy layout. She usually lives in Ipswich, but now she lives in Orlando. One day, she will take you to Universal Studios. She thought. The next day she went to a field of daisies. She loves daisies. She also saw that Princess Daisy is there. She rushed to her. You, said Daisy. I found some daisies, said Sam Sidney. She also brought her layout. Daisy, I have your favorite toys, Sam Sidney said. They felt happy for a moment. Sam Sidney teleports Daisy back to Sarasaland. Thanks for helping a character, said Rosalina. One day, her dad wants her to be at Universal Orlando. She loves the Minion ride. When Sam Sidney get home, she will have pizza for dinner. The end. And that's all the stories. To replay the 10 special stories, ask your Echo and say tell me special stories. And I will tell you the stories again. See you soon. Goodbye.